G'day and welcome to this demonstration of the Moodle mobile app for iPhone. Okay, I'm presuming you have an iPhone and you've found your way to the App Store and downloaded th the free app. Uh, it's called My Moodle. So we launch it. Now the first thing the app will do is ask us for the site URL. Okay, that's the address of your Moodle site. So you enter that and you enter your username And password okay so that's been done we could in fact revisit that and you can manage multiple profiles or if you like user logins to a said Moodle site or multiple sites for that matter and then toggle between them Okay, so they've been added. Let's say we in fact want to use the student profile. It returns us to the the main page for the app. I guess it's the dashboard or the home home screen. Uh, we've got four options: upload, participants, web, and help. So let's start with upload. This is the good bit. This is where we get to share or contribute or upload uh, media from our phone to our live Moodle site. So the first option there is to browse photo albums. You can navigate your phone through to your albums. Uh, we've got a, a photo here in our camera roll. We get a preview and then we can select upload. So that's getting sent from the iPhone to your live Moodle site and in fact uh, this uploaded media will reside in your private files block. You can decide if and when it's appropriate to share those files with others. It might be, uh, it might be media attached to a forum post, it could be a file that needs to be submitted as part of an assignment or you could upload the, the media for a lot of other purposes uh, in Moodle. All right, let's look at the next option there within the, the upload menu, and that's take a picture or video. So we're now going to take a picture, like so. So we get a preview of the image there on our phone. We can either retake or use the preview that's been presented. So we'll select use. Okay, so the dialog there indicates the upload's been completed. Again, that uh, that image will find its way to our our private files block in our live Moodle site. This time, let's revisit the, the same function, but we will uh, not take a picture. We're going to take a video. So we need to toggle to the video menu. And we click the red button to start recording. And when we're done, we click the red button again to stop. So the dialogue here is we can either retake the video, we could play it, or we can use it. So let's select use. Again, the media is going to be uploaded to the private files area 
of our live Moodle site. The last option there is to record audio. So we hit the green record button and we start speaking. We are speaking live as we are demonstrating the, the Moodle mobile app for iPhone and we'll stop the recording there. That's been saved. We could play back the recorded audio via the, the replay option or else we can send that directly to our Moodle site and it actually tells us the size of this file. Upload. So we'll navigate out of the upload area. The next function there on the dashboard is participants. So we select that. We get a snapshot of the courses we're enrolled in as a user under, under the profile we've selected currently. We can't directly access the courses or the activities or resources in them. But what we can do, if we select one of these courses, we, we're presented with a list of course participants and via our phone we're able to view the, user, uh, the other course participants profiles and communicate with them directly. So we're looking here at a fellow course participants profile. We can see their name, their avatar, a description about them. We could contact them directly via email using our phone if we've got uh, mail configured for our iPhone. If the said course participant had a phone number entered into their user profile, we could, with a single click of a button, uh, call them direct via this page. We could see their location. We could send them an instant message. This is a Moodle instant message, by the way, not an SMS. The recipient will see that next time they log into Moodle. If they're offline, uh, it will in fact get delivered to the mailbox. We could add a note to this user's profile. That would be on the, on the presumption that we had the, the right capabilities and permissions to do so. You would likely need to, uh, need to be an administrator or a teacher. Or you can add this user as a contact and they get added to the address book on your iPhone. Navigate out of the participants function. The web function will display your Moodle site uh, on your phone uh, and give you access to the full functionality. So you may need to zoom a little bit there. Uh, but the idea will be you will be able to log in, access your courses, uh, and view activities and resources and so forth. Bearing in mind that the, the, the Moodle mobile app isn't meant to replace the, the core functionality of, uh, of you know, the Moodle software and how you might access it from a desktop, purely add value to it, uh, particularly through adding contacts, communicating with them via your phone and uploading media to your private files area. The help function gives you direct access to Moodle's web-based help documentation. The task queue function is very handy in the sense that you can use Moodle's mobile app while you're offline to capture media, for example, or communicate with fellow course participants. And you can queue those tasks to be sent uh, when you, your phone next connects to the internet. And as we saw, we can toggle between various user profiles that we've entered into the application. So that's just about it. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration. Relax, enjoy, and happy moodling.